by the way, this story kind of just slid under the radar. I don't think anyone was really talking about this. Did you watch the Golden State Warriors play over the weekend against the Charlotte Hornets? Now, Steph Curry didn't play. So it's understandable if you decided, yeah, you know what? Let's pack this one to another weekend. But Draymond Green, the highly emotional, sporadic Draymond Green, the veteran who's been in the league since 2012, cost the Golden State Warriors a win versus the Charlotte Hornets by collecting not one, but two technical fouls and getting ejected in the final 9.3 seconds. So here you have the Golden State Warriors up 198 with 9.3 seconds left. There's a loose ball on the ground, and he... <laughs> Draymond Green and Gordon Hayward get in a tussle. They think it's a loose, it's a jump ball. Apparently, the refs award Gordon Hayward with a timeout. Draymond Green goes ballistic, starts barking at the refs. He gets teed up. He can't believe he gets teed up. And then the refs are looking at him like, dude, stop talking to us. And Draymond Green has this incredulous look. He's apoplectic, and he gets tossed out of the game because he continues to talk. And so now, instead of just awarding the Charlotte Hornets the ball side out, down by two with 9.3 seconds, they get two free throws to tie the game at 100, and then they get to retain the possession. And so Terry Rozier hits a buzzer beater in the corner to win 102 to 100. And I, I just haven't seen this type of mental lapse from a veteran in, in God knows when. I mean, Draymond Green, what are you thinking? This isn't your first go around the league. And even Steve Kerr came out and said that, that like, what was he thinking? He said he made a terrible mistake getting teed up. Draymond can't do that. Yeah, you can't do that. Draymond, you're a veteran. And that's what in a loaded Western conference where every single game has an impact. Every single game is significant. You don't have Steph Curry. You're on the road. Right now, you're hanging on to the eighth seed in the Western Conference, but with a win, you could have been a seventh seed and, again, provided a little distance and cushion between you and the teams behind you. And Draymond Green decides, hey, you know what? My antics are more important. And losing my control and not thinking with my head, clearly, is more important than just kind of likely securing the win here. And you just can't afford to do that, especially when Steph is not playing. Because this is one of the rare games when you may have been able to, to collect a win with Steph on the bench, even though he was resting due to an injury. The fact is he didn't play, and it could have been a huge opportunity to collect a big win. This is like the boy who cried wolf scenario. How initially, you're innocent until proven guilty, now you're guilty until proven innocent. Draymond Green, just to put things into perspective, he was drafted in the NBA, entered the league in 2012. In, the, in his first three seasons in the NBA, really didn't commit that many technical fouls, Wasn't was never in the top 30 or 50 players for technical fouls accrued. In 2015, the year that the Warriors won their first championship, he finished top 12 in technical fouls. Still not top five, but starting to creep on that, on that line. 2016, he finished top four for technical fouls. And that was the season in which the Warriors blew a 3-1 lead to the Cleveland Cavaliers. And we saw he got suspended from the pivotal game five because he kicked LeBron in his manhood. In, in, in the man jewels and got suspended because he got teed up and he had already accumulated so many technical fouls in that postseason that the ref said, the hell with you. Kiki Vandaway was sitting in the stands and could literally hear what he called LeBron, the B word. And so 
you miss game five, that turns around the series and the Cavs win in seven games. Then in 2018, he finished second in the NBA for most technical fouls. 2019, he led the NBA in most technical fouls. Last year, he was top two in the NBA in technical fouls. And right now, he's also second in the NBA for most technical fouls. So you've built up all this equity over your first couple seasons. Then you have this brief run of constantly being in the limelight and you're scrutinized, you're receiving technical fouls all day, every day. And finally, you're at a point in your career when, where I think us as the media really weren't even thinking about Draymond Green and associating it with technical fouls because he hadn't collected a major one in a significant period of time. So all that equity that you built on a whim, you throw out the window. Because now the refs are saying, well, listen, this is the same guy who committed all these technical fouls just a couple seasons ago. So it's justified to give him one now. And so this is where your reputation can really hurt you if you're Draymond Green, because you don't have the backing, you don't get the benefit of the doubt anymore. So anytime there's a borderline call from the refs about whether or not to assess you a technical foul, they're going to do it because they know what the trend is and they know that no one's going to bark or give them any pushback if they do that. And even the coaches totally understood, totally justified the decision. You're Draymond Green. You're 9.3 seconds away. This is your ninth or 10th season in the NBA. Keep your mouth shut. And the Warriors go home with a win. Instead, you keep talking and you cost your team a win. And again, with the play with the play in situation, I don't necessarily know if that one loss is going to affect whether or not they can even make it into the play in tournament, but they could have sure used a win. They would have leapfrogged over the Denver Nuggets into the seventh seed. Now they're still on the border at the eighth seed. So and we've seen plenty of times teams that are trailing late get frustrated and maybe they miss a last second shot or they were called for a late game foul when it's a one point game, a two point game, at least a one possession game. We've seen teams that are trailing be assessed technical fouls out of frustration, but never have I seen a team leading in the spot and just giving two free points to the other team to tie it because of technical fouls. I've never seen that. I don't think Draymond Green has ever seen that. I don't know how many times Steve Kerr has seen that. So that's what exacerbates the situation is the fact that they had the game in the in the bag and just coughed it away. Just coughed it away.